we're out here at Rafa's garage. Yep. Working on the Corolla today. Again? We're again. <laughs> Nothing but never ending. Never ending. Fine. So oh, they said it. It'll be fine. Mark already broke another stunt over here. Whoa, whoa. It's your fault. I fixed it. Fuck no. So, I ain't even talking about foolish. Watch it be the one that you fixed and the one that's broken. I'm gonna be <laughs> laughing. So, yeah, we're doing sway bar end links. Did you already do them or no? What? Negative. Well, uh, how? I'm gonna break more studs. Alright, so he didn't do it because he didn't go buy studs. My person I shall rename nameless cannot hook it up. So yeah, we're replacing the sway bar end links and we're putting a new axle on it. Uh, the axle on this one doesn't have the support right here, somewhere right here in the back. Why do you need that? And I just went to the jump car, took one up. So we're gonna install it right now. Got a new oil pan, cause we're gonna reuse the oil. Were that cheap? What? Well tell me we're that cheap now. You're cheap. I'm not cheap. How much are MT90s? I uh, it's been like 40 bucks in two quarts. This car has not even seen like 500 miles. So? You want me to put new oil on it? Hell right? yeah! So Mark already broke another one. Fuck! It hasn't been like fucking 10 seconds! Look, <laughs> like another one! And that was gonna fucking come off too. That was fucked. Yeah, so I bought like five. Just Should've bought 20. Cheap ass. I don't need all 20. Fucking might as well. Preventative maintenance. So yeah, I'm gonna see how this sway bar end link is. Just oh, this one's good. Sway bars, white line. Nah. This one's good, the other one's bad. I'll show you guys in a bit. Once Mark takes off that wheel. Hey, that Mark? So this end link. Oh, that was good. Like, really, it wasn't doing it. Either way, it's leaky right here. You're fine. But when I jiggled it, it's not even tight right here. And it's stripped. So we're gonna replace this one for sure and then replace the axle because so there it is, the wheel studs and the bracket I was talking about. Got it from the junkyard. I hope you guys know Rafa hasn't done jack shit yet. It's all in me. Yeah, right. Turbo, so that bracket I'm in there. I'm in there. goes right here, I believe so. Does it? Yep. And this one doesn't have it. Mark stripped it. Oh, I knew you were going to say that <laughs> shit, little bitch. Wasn't me. Nah, so we're going to grind it out. Naked, banging in the bathroom, though it wasn't me. Good fag. How's that? So we As finally you know, daddy had to fix it. Yeah, right, bro. My idea and I did it. I the it. axle was being a pain in the butt. Basically, this axle had a ring like the passenger side, so it was a pain in the butt. Um hopefully with the new one we're not gonna have that problem. But we gotta double check. So we had to go to O'Reilly's and buy, oh no, AutoZone and buy some end links because the one from O'Reilly's you have to grease them up and I don't have grease guns so I'm going to return those, put the AutoZone ones, Mark is over there adjusting the coil and installing it right the right way. Just the wrong way. So this has to be parallel to the windshield it doesn't have to be like the other one let me get some more light in here but this is better though no don't you want to be able to have two for one toe and camber adjustments no track boys so you see this one goes <clears throat> like that and let me show you how they install these well, this is so obviously you can get like three degrees of camber and two degrees of so toe. this one's like this curious mark that's me genius so 
Now to install the inlay. What's up guys, Marky Mark. We're back out here again, you know, always fucking working on this shit. Wearing my hat, bitch? Yep. Man. Yeah. So, what kind of fin the house we do this time? We put a fucking axle that I wouldn't recommend, but... But we're going to do it anyway because we're dumbasses. Nah, we're not dumbasses, it's just... Do you buy beer? I need to fucking yeah. get this car up and running. My idea was to part it out, but he wasn't down. That, you called beer that will trust it? Yep. I'm taking this bait. So basically we bought uh AutoZone axle with no bearing or support down there. Basically so, one like this. Yep. Didn't have that. Didn't have this. This is one from O'Reilly's. This didn't fit. I don't know why it didn't fit for me. It worked for Sebastian, but not for me. I don't know what kind of training I have or um, you got you up. got that bad training or that fucked up splines I got, but um, it's gonna work now, and you gotta pick up this because you can't. Yeah, you'd be smart. Yeah. So after buying like four axles, hey, we Turbo. finally got. After spending like almost half a day of running around from store to store to store, and twenty phone calls later, Carl, what do you think? Carl, this is part out too. All right, guys, we'll get back to you right after everything's buttoned back together. So, tire's back on. Mark is doing the other side right now. Getting ready to quit. We're ready to drop this car and put some tranny fluid on it and go for a test drive. Hopefully I don't get no more clunky noise. So I think it's done already. Now to go for a test drive and make you sure. Really? What? In the middle of my video. Yeah. Hey, cheers, guys. Woo! See if it fixed the problem. No more clunking noise and call it a day. <laughs> 